Hello everyone, this is Driss from CSS Ninja and in this video today I'm here to show you some of the latest features that we're releasing with Nifos um, version 2.0. So um, basically what we've done is uh, a lot of bug fixes but not only, we uh, completely redesigned some areas of the template and of course uh, We've upgraded to uh, Bulma 0.8 and also um, we've upgraded to Gulp 4 with a new folder structure and project structure. Um, yeah, so maybe let's start with that. Uh, I'll try to make it short. I uh, don't want to spend too much time on this. And uh, yeah, so you can see on your own. So basically now the uh, site generated folder has been replaced with a dist folder and everything um, that is project related is in the SRC folder. So the assets, some uh, of the data, some JSON that we're using and uh, also the layouts that are used by Panini and the pages and the partials. So. In the assets, you'll find everything, uh, SAS being the Bulma source files and the uh, SCSS that we wrote. Okay, um, so the most important thing in, uh, in this update is that based on the feedback that we got from our customers, um, they wanted to see the template in action. I mean, you know, e-commerce is about buying products and dynamic things, seeing the product details and stuff. And that's something a static template uh, couldn't do. So to showcase that, we just created a, a demo application that runs against the local storage. So uh, we basically store some string uh, some JSON string in the local st storage and we get it to uh, update the cart, the user, to be able to fake some authentication. Um, I'm going to sh show you everything. Okay, and uh, besides that, we did a lot of redesign work on some pages like the authentication, uh, register and login. Um, the product pages uh, look quite the same, although there are some improvements. But the um, the heavy uh, changes are on the wish list component, which is now uh, now I think better than it was before uh, on the cart. And you can see that we are the added placeholders uh, when there's no data to show. And also on some of the order views and mostly uh, the checkout. We completely uh, revamped the checkout pages, as you can see here. We also added some error pages because uh, they look fun and that's always something handy to have. And we've added some uh, a search results page. Okay. And yeah, before I forgot, I forget. We've also added an order details page. Okay, so let's start a quick demo. Uh, I'm going to start from the shop categories. Okay, so right now, uh, you can see, let's open the menu. I'm still logged in as a guest. So maybe let's start, uh, or before that, let's show you. If I try to see some personal pages well it says that i'm not logged in so i won't be i won't be able to view my uh, account or wish lists or orders yeah of course i can still view the cart but it for now it's empty okay so let's start by logging in so you can see that we completely changed that uh, authentication layout to a, a more modern thing. And you're able to switch between the register form 
and the login form by cl clicking on this. Okay, so let's log in with the demo account. We made things easy for you by uh, having those fake accounts and you can just click on one of them to simply uh, to auto fill the the login form field. So let's log in with, uh, let's say, um, Ely. Okay. So now that I'm logged in, I got back to that page and yeah, let's buy some products. So let's add some products to the cart. So uh, I like those seats. Gonna going to add some seats. Oh, as you can see, the products are being added and it's not just a demo. They're actually added to the cart with this uh, little local storage hack. And I'm able to update the quantity and then update the cart and have the price updated. Okay, that's cool. So now I'm going to view my cart. So here are my items and these are the same quantities that I said before. If I try to open the cart sidebar, well, it's uh, disabled on the cart page. And let's um, start by checking out. Okay, so this is the first step. You have an option to add a coupon, but remember, it's still a demo, so this doesn't work and you have your info that is related to your account. So you can click on next step, select one of the shipping methods, go to the next step. Again, you can select one of the available payment methods. Let's select PayPal and hit that I agree checkbox and then continue. There's your order summary, so you can check that everything is all right and even enter some uh, order notes. These are special instructions. Okay, let's confirm and pay. Yay, we've made our first demo order. So let's look at our orders. Okay, so you probably already know that page that was in the previous version, but we've added a brand new list view. That is pretty cool. Okay, and let's test that new order details page. Okay, so this is the new order details. Okay, um, amongst the other features, so now that we're logged in, we're able to see our account. Okay, and we can also edit all the uh, relevant info that we want and then save the changes, can even uh, upload a new photo. Uh, yeah, let's say, let's do this and let's resize it. Use the picture. And if I go to another page, the changes should be persisted, as you can see. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is the new also wish list layout and it's also dynamic. So you can add a new wish list and let's say my new wish list. And you got your new wish list, but it's actually empty. So maybe let's add some products.
Okay, so uh, I'm going to add that table. Um, yeah, to my new wish list. Awesome. Let's add more. Um, let's say I want this this bunny. Cool. And uh, let's go back to wish lists. Yeah, and my two items are here. I can either add them to the cart or also remove them from the wish list. Cool. Um, yeah, and the last but not the least maybe feeder that I can show you is the um, product details. So now if you click on a product, I mean, you want to see the details, you're taken to the product page and it's the actual product you clicked on. You're also able to add to cart and do everything that I uh, already showed you. Okay, so um, I guess uh, that's all for today, and I hope that you enjoyed this new update. And if you have any questions, please uh, just contact support at cssninja.io. Thanks for watching.